nuts and shit. I'm saying y'all could fuck his bitch. Every day I'm fly as hell. I feel like thug. Swill back with another video all the time. Got am doing another reaction. Um, they say this reaction I'm doing. They say that why, why I say I want with it snitched on your thug. They want to put up that title. But all the time, got dang. I ain't gonna judge nobody in their situation or whatever because at the end of the day, when you locked in that gym, you don't know what you'll do in that position, shit. I ain't saying I'm a snitch, but more definitely got, man, if it be a certain situation where it ain't got nothing to do with me, I'm more definitely gonna tell. You can call me a rat, I don't care. Like, comment, subscribe, watch this full video, and I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get it. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, bro. A little clip of just got, dang, made mistake and played on my phone. And he got name came in there bit already talking like damn it's crazy so it may seem like i'm trying to help doug out i'm not trying to help him out i don't care nothing about him what he got going on nothing i care about the truth the truth was i was going through a phrase in my life and i have put all the blame on him i don't know what he did i don't know what he got going on but y'all got me on the stand and i'm telling the god and his truth Leave me out of this. I made all these stories up, put the blame on him to get myself out of the situation because the police told me they want a big fish and I'm a little fish. They ain't who. Damn. I want. <laughs> so when they told me that, my only motive was to convince them that I'm telling the truth about this guy right here and I'm not. Okay, I got another one for y'all. Let me click back. Good, good morning. Mr. Copeland, do you know a person by the name of Shell Cal? I don't recall. Or say you don't recall if you know someone by the name of Shell Cal? I shouldn't ask you your question. Sustain. <laughs> Do you recall speaking with law enforcement about an individual that you know by the name of Michelle Cal? I don't recall. <clears throat> and the crazy thing is, yeah, though, this snitching allegation got name make people clout go down for some reason, man. Bro, put yourself in goddamn somebody's shoes. Well, people got ain't gonna act like they tough. I ain't gonna snitch. I'm gonna do the time. Man, you get behind that line, man. You gonna be screaming like a little girl. I want to go back to December of 2014 and into January of 2015. Were you present at a gambling house in Lakewood uh, when the shooting occurred? I don't recall. Let me ask you. <clears throat> also, back in 2015, do you remember being at a Cascade skating ring speaking with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall. Yeah. Back in January of 2015, do you recall being at a um, club, Club Crucial, and getting into a fight with an individual by the name of Shell Cow? I don't recall nothing that happened years ago. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to talk about a murk to talk about whether or not you were involved in the murder of an individual by the name of Donovan Thomas Jr.? Say that again. Do you recall in January of 2015 having to go to the Atlanta Police Department to speak about your potential involvement in the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr. I don't recall. All right. In January, on January 11, 2015, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department at about three o'clock in the morning? 
I don't recall. Okay. And did you speak with a detective by the name of Detective Thor? I don't recall who I speak with. I don't recall. Okay. And during that interview, did you go down there to speak with the murder, to speak with him about the murder of Donovan Thomas Jr.? I don't recall who I spoke with. Okay. And in that same interview, did you speak with him about not just the murder of Donovan Thomas, but events that led up to the murder of Donovan Thomas on June 10th, 2015? I'm a liar. So you want me to, to re remember something that I don't lie about in the past? Like I, I did, did dude just say he a liar on the stand? Like, what I don't know. So my question for you is, did you go to the Atlanta Police Department? Is your response you don't recall? I don't recall. <laughs> and during that interview with Detective Thorpe at the Atlanta Police Department, did you provide him your name and your date in date of birth? Huh? When you went to the Atlanta Police Department and met with Detective Thorpe, did you give him your date of birth? I don't know. Okay. And is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? What? Is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? I think. Okay. And during this interview, did what? Is your date of birth July 25th, 1991? I think. Okay. That man, they just asked him what his birthday was, and he said, I think. What the world? And during this interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you also have a middle name of Xavier? Did you know you can call AI now? And I can call it and talk to it? You can call it and talk to it, and it. No. Okay. I don't know what I told. I don't remember what I told him. Okay. I'm not trying to say the wrong thing so y'all can lock me back up. All right. Well, just bear with me. We're going to go through that interview, okay? Objection to the commentary. Now, disregard the commentary by the witness. Now, during the interview, um, did you speak with Detective Thorpe about the issues you had with a person by the name of Kel? I don't recall. And did you speak with Detective Thorpe about a problem that the two of you all had in the club? Mm, I don't recall. <laughs> and did you tell um, Detective Thorpe in that same interview that Kel was Nut, little brother. I don't know if they brothers or not. Okay, so do you know who Kel is? No, I don't recall. Okay, and when I say nut, I ain't gonna lie. What it looking like, man? They already got everything they need. They just got they said you ain't gonna lie, nut. Damn. Is that Donovan Thomas Jr.? You asking me that? I am asking you that. Say that again. Sure. Do you know a person that goes by the name of Nut? I ain't gonna lie, he had to think on that, James, before he made and got any decision what he was gonna say. I don't recall. Okay. Now, in that same interview, Do you, did you tell Detective Thorpe about you and Kel getting- Comment down below how many times he said, I don't recall. <laughs> into the fight at Club Crucial. I don't recall, nothing from 2015, 14, 16, none of it. Okay, and during that same interview, did you um, tell Detective Thorpe that you and Kel had been in a beef for maybe about no longer than four months and this is back in 2015. And he's still alive? 
My question, did you tell Detective Thorpe that you, Michelle Kell, at that time in 2015, had a beef and it was probably going on around four months at that time? I tell the detective whatever they want me to say, whatever they want to hear, whatever, whatever. So if I said it to them, I said it to them. I don't recall what I said to no police. Okay. And during that same interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that whenever y'all were in the club, y'all would initially just throw up birds at each other? Huh? In this January 11, 2000 interview, did you tell Detective Thorpe that initially when you and Shokel were in the club, y'all never really fist fought? Y'all just would throw up birds at each other. Like I told you, before y'all called me to trial, I have lied. I made things up. I told you this before y'all brought me in this courtroom. And I'm telling you now, you asked me about 2015, I have got my life together. Y'all trying to put this on my conscience Y'all trying to put people's life in my hands. I don't lie on people. I don't want to be here. Y'all have pressured me. I'm tired of y'all because y'all know y'all are wrong. And y'all black people doing this to us. And I understand that. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Man, y'all piss me off. Listen, I don't recall nothing I said to no police. Stop asking me these questions. Okay. I'm telling you, I don't recall. I understand, but we're going to have to get through the questions. You can just continue to say you don't recall if that's what it is. That's what you want me to say? Hey, that man manipulated the fuck out of them. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's crazy. He flipped the whole situation and got down. Dang, bro. That dude know how to play them mind tricks. He done did this too long. Hey, like, comment, subscribe. Drop in the comment what y'all think, man. That's crazy, though. He flipped that jank on them. Hey, until next time, I hope y'all enjoyed. I don't recall. All that trolling us and shit. I'm saying, Yaku, fuck his bitch. Every damn fly as hell, I feel like.